Hey guys, how's it going? Van here, or some of you might know me as the Mask Gunner. So, uh, I just want to start off by saying I, I really appreciate everybody who, uh, which that said all those kind words on my last video about my father and everything. It's just, it, I, you know, honestly, I was kind of debating whether or not going back and forth whether I should post that video or not because you know, the internet. There's a lot of toxic, vile fucking people out there they will just really kick you in the fucking ribs like a wounded deer if you give them the chance to or if you even show weakness or emotions you know and you know honestly you know I'm not a type of guy that likes to do that you know and you know I just but I figure it would be I have people it would help to get the word out there to talk more about it you know it's a healing process you know the healing process is, can be really uh, it helps with the healing process you know because I mean, obviously, I'm still hurting. I mean, my dad only died like four months ago. And, you know, it still kind of hurts. But, you know, I, I'm i getting through it every day. You know, it gets better every day. It's true what they say, you know. It gets better every day. And, you know, it's just one of those things where you just have to, you know, keep pushing forward. Or, I mean, just, just crying about it. Or deal, dealing with it is the best. Not... Well, it's good to cry about it, but, you know, I guess it makes that emotion go out faster, but, I don't know, I'm doing better than I was a couple of months back. I mean, a couple of months less, I was just a, you know, shattered mess, but, uh, well, enough about me. I just want to say, again, thank you to everybody for your kind words and support, and, you know, uh, I really do appreciate it, and I still want to do gun reviews. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to keep doing this. As long as I can, you know, I still got plenty of guns to review. Matter of fact, I got I bought a gun yesterday. I wouldn't say it's a re review, but I am it's my new carry gun at the moment, and that is the uh, Beretta. Well, the Landon Tactical Beretta 92 com compact model. You see right here. Hold on, I say I want to get the camera. So probably get some better lighting. All right. As you can see, I'm not in my house. This is. I'm working on my rental house right now. Still doing some of the painting in here. It's a nice little townhouse. So I think it's saying there's garbage outside. The garbage trucks outside. But anyways, let me just find a good little spot to get some good lighting. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right here is good. Okay, so like I said, this is the uh, Beretta I need to, uh, Landon Tactical. You know, compact, I'll you know, be honest with you. I mean, this thing's slightly shorter than the regular full-size one, so. I would still call it a duty gun. Simply because of the size. I mean, years ago, I mean. Ugh, years ago, I used to carry the, uh, the regular compact. You know, one with the 13 rounds magazine. By the way, this holds 15 rounds. Somehow, they did some magic to get 15 rounds in this magazine right here. And by the way, since we're talking, let's go ahead and do a safety check on the gun. I popped the brown out. All right. Okay. Make sure we're nice and safe. Yeah, so check that out. 15 rounds of 9mm. That's pretty impressive for a gun this size. Well, it's not impressive, but, you know, it's cool, you know. Kind of one of those weird... Would I say boutique? I, no, I wouldn't say boutique guns. It's definitely a pride of joy of carrying something like this. Now, one problem with the Beretta, the old Berettas I used to have is, when I carried it, the safety right here would just click on and off, on and off. So when I go to pull it out, it would be like, I, oh, I, I would have to think twice, oh shit, is the safety on or is it off? So, but this, this is just a straight decocker. You just basically just click that down and just goes back up. So you don't have to, I don't have to worry about that. And there's the uh, Landon Tactical logo right there. Kind of cool. Got it on the grips there, which, by the way, these grips are like fucking cheese graters right here. <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm not kidding. It's like literally just like, if you're not careful, you can like cheese grate your hand if you, if you wanted to. And the text, the uh, gr the padding right here, the uh, it's pretty good, pretty aggressive. Same on the back here. So it's got those triangular, triangular padding right there. It's got a, I really like the stainless steel barrel and the uh, trigger. So it's a, it's a nice, it's, it's a very cosmetically 
appealing gun. It's got the target crown right there on the end. See that? Pretty nice. Now these sights, I really want to change them out to a, uh, what was that, Hack that Hackathorn, uh, Hackathorn, uh, that's Hackathorn side with the uh, orange, orange trinium in the middle. I was thinking about changing it out with this one because I just say it would be better. Maybe just change both of them out. Now the back, for, for, for back side here is serrated, so and a lot of people don't realize that's for cutting down the glare if you're aiming downrange or if you're in the sun, so that helps with cutting down the glare. Now this hammer here, I kind of. You know, I kind of don't like the looks of the hammer being gone like that. I mean, it's not gone, but, you know, it's shaved off. So, it's a kind of a smooth type deal. So, and I, I'm kind of, I'm thinking about just going to go install a regular stand, a skeletonized hammer and just do it. I'll do it myself, you know. <laughs> yeah, I like the Beretta platform so much. I actually got, I own three types of these guns. I have the uh, Wilson Combat Brigadier Tactical. Which, that's a gun I never shoot, so that's just <laughs> a complete show gun. So, I don't know. Put it in the comments if you guys want me to review that gun. Or just not even review, just do a show and tell on it. I'll do that for you. And this one is just a... Uh, and I got the uh, Tennessee, the Volunteer State. And that one has the Brigadier slide, and it's also a decocker on it, also. I can do a review on that gun. And I, I, I used to carry that gun before I got this, so I, th I had to trade in two of my Styers pistol to get this gun and pay a little something on top of that. Which, honestly, you know, I like the Styers, but, you know, I'm just not a striker fire type guy. You know, I really like the DASA, DASA system. It's, it's, it's what I feel comfortable carrying because having a nice heavy act, double action trigger pull is good for safety. But the uh, striker fire gun, you don't have that at all. So, yeah. So, yeah. This is a really cool, nice little, cool little piece right here. Yeah, I, this is something you, a professional would carry. I mean, I would think. Uh, it's a nice little gun. So, yeah. I, I traded in two of my stars. Uh, they both look fine. It's just... Like I, said, I think I got 350 for... Well, no, I got 300 for one of them. That was the old model. And I think that I had the latest model, the M9 F, uh, FM, I think. AF, or one of the two, the latest model. I got 350 for that. So, yeah, I got like 650 on trade value. Plus, this gun was like, on, like uh, I think, 1,040 out the door. So... I had to pay a little money out of my pocket to get this gun, but you know, honestly, I'm not regretting it because this thing is a well-tuned machine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying. It's got all the right parts. Really nice gun. I mean, it's just, just perfect in every single way. I mean, I, I have take, I have shot this gun. I went to the range yesterday, put like a box of 50 through it because you know. <laughs> That's it. I didn't put anything else there because, you know, but I don't think I need to tell you guys how expensive 9mm is down here. Shit, I went to the gun range. Not the gun range, but the gun store the other day. That orange box, you know, off-the-shelf stuff, the cheap, the cheap stuff, was approaching $36.99. $36, dollars $36 So that's how expensive it, a 9mm is to get in the shoot because, uh, I still got I got like a bunch of I got a bunch of nine millimeters at home, but you know still though I'm not I'm not doing mag dumps mag dumps at the range anymore, so those days are kind of I don't want to say they're over, but they're definitely on hiatus. So we'll see what happens in the future. But yeah, this is my new carry gun. It's just it's the back part right here. Right at core, so that's that. This is a nice holster for it. I mean, the holster I got for it was actually made for a 229, but it fits, it fits it nonetheless. I did order I did order a custom holster for it. And the magazines, it comes with three magazines. Also got this pinky extension, so you, you get a good, nice, gr nice grip on it. So, you know, real nice. So, yeah. Well, all right, guys, that's the Beretta 92 uh, LTT Compact. So if you guys have any further questions, I'll do a more in-depth review later on. But as of right now, I mean, I am loving this gun. It is such an amazing machine. Really, it's just a well tuned. I might send it in to do the uh, the Langdon Tactical uh, trigger job. 
I don't know. I'm going to see how much that is. If it's worth it. Uh, as of now, you know, I, I like this guy as it is. So, but I'm going to just keep doing it. So, I'm, I'm going to just keep it like this because there's nothing wrong with the trigger on this. It just, everything just works on it. it all right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to shoot them down in the comment. Later. Bye.